Yeah. Cool. Uh, hi guys, again. <coughs> Voice is still knackered. Um, I'm only joking. I talk like this normally. Um, yes, uh, I'm doing another one today because I thought, sod it, I'm bored. I'll do another one. Um, my blitzwing, I thought went really well. I thought it was funny. Uh, I'm saying a lot. Um, yes, hi, uh, Doug Devilmus Prime. Here, as I said, I did a blitzwing. About Um, I don't know. Um, let me just turn this down. Just watching a bit of Mystery Science Theater 3000. I've got it on DVD. I am sad. Uh, yes, anyway, back to my review. I am doing this guy. You probably see it above me, but I don't care. Sentinel Prime. Um, yeah, that's how much I like this figure. Um, I got this for <clears throat> £6.50. Toys R Us were asking £13. I got it for £6.50. It's worth £6.50. If you see it for £13, ignore it. Anyway, transform transformation is too simple for words. Um, uh, you've probably seen other reviews about this thing. Uh, yeah, see, that's all I've got to say about it. In, in the show, it was a bit of a knobhead. That's, that attaches, that's his weapons. You got the lance and you got the shield. I'm not swearing, by the way. Uh, we'll just take those off for a minute. <clears throat> so, uh, transforming, you lift the uh, top of the truck. He's a plow truck, sort of. Uh, I, I think there was one episode where it was snowing, and I don't think he featured in it. Um, he, oh yeah, there's that as well. You can see his head, which is, it's not hiding. He's supposed to be a robot in disguise. What is he disguised as? If you can see his head. I don't know. Um, one reviewer called it visible head syndrome. Um, but he's left. As far as I'm aware because I can't find any more of his reviews apart from his song. Which I've probably given you loads of details about. Anyway. Details, clues, same different. Anyway, so you want to lift this bit up. Oh, see that wants to come apart already. And click that in. That clicks. And if you heard that, so I can't even get it out now. But listen, clicks in. Then you can see his ass. Okay, so the top bit lifts up, lifts out. So now it looks like a car's been, I don't know, hit by a rocket or something. I don't know. Um, you want to take the doors and you want to pull them out. Okay. I'll tell you what, this is going surprisingly well. I just did a little run and it took me about five minutes to undo the doors, uh, the arms. So now it looks like a car that's been in a car crash. So I'm not going to pussyfoot around because, as I said, visible head syndrome so you know where everything's going. <sighs> So you want to push this bit up into there. There's little holes and there's a little tab that goes in the holes there. So you want to push it in and you just rotate the wheel until it clicks. So you bring the legs down. You might want to separate them. You might not. Sometimes you stand either way. Do the same on the other side. Bring the arm forward. And he looks more or less done, and it, that, that's taken me, what, all of 30 seconds, well, about a minute, not including the talking. Pull his head up, his head's like that. You pull his head up until it clicks. You take his little plow, split it in the middle, pull it apart, and bring it forward. Just push his head back in, there we go. So there, Sentinel Prime. You can have you can put the weapons on. They do come apart. But 
this little tab in there to ensure that it stays on. Um, I don't know, sometimes I display it. Oh, God, come on. Like that. He does hold them both like that. It just goes into his fist. Oh, it does display them both. A uh, couple of things I don't like. He's, he's too bulky up top. He He's massive up top, but he's got these little tiny legs. Why? I don't get it. Uh, he's got massive chin, which, yeah, okay, and these little, I don't know, what you want to call them pipes or ears or whatever, they move for some, I don't know why they move, they've got no reason to move, but they move. Um, articulation, his legs do move, they do bend at the knees, no, there's no foot or ankle, that's supposed to be his foot. Okay. He's got no hand on that. Look, his, his arm comes away from the body. It's just a little hinge. And it, it's on both of them. I mean, yeah, all right. With, with the G1s, they had very limited articulation. Um, I mean, you, you can't even push his you can't even push his arm forward without disturbing this. Unless, unless of course you bend it, bend it in like that, so he's got a big bit sticking out, and then I don't know, maneuver it so that it's it's like that. His pants. Anyway, I wasn't going to make this one as long as the last one because I'm running out of room. Um, so that that's that's what I've got to say about this piece of crap really of all the things they could have done with this toy and they didn't it's like I, I've, I've got I've got the Grimlock and I've got the Med Megatron and I've, I've actually got all the Dinobots I've, I've seen a custom a custom job where someone's made the other two and they combine, and it's yeah, that's pretty cool. I, I I had thought about doing it, and then I thought no, that's too much work. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope I hope you guys agree with me. And if you do like this guy, then that's totally your decision. I'm just giving you my point of view. All right, uh, this is Doug Devil Miss Prime. Uh, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.